Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video today, I will show you how to create this really cool 3D prototype using Figma and some other tools. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in Figma and you can see that I have this design here of a product detail page. Uh, so normally we will click on this play button here to preview the design in this uh, Figma prototype. But in this case, uh, we're going to use something else. So let's go back here and go to the plugin tab and select manage plugins. And I'm going to search for this anima plugin and select it uh, so basically this plugin will help you to create a better prototype with animation and 3d integration um so let's click here to preview it so currently this is how it looks like on the preview mode uh, so let's click here to go back to the main figma view so uh, the first thing i want to do is to uh, set the headers to always stay on top on the screen uh, so let's select this group and go to prototype tab and select fix stay in place so I'm going to do the same for the size selector bar at the bottom here. So let's select it and switch to fix. And for this one, let's go back to the design tab and make sure the constraint is set up like this. So uh, center for horizontal and uh, bottom for vertical. All right, so now you can uh, click here to preview the prototype to see how it works. All right, so the header is working pretty well, but the bottom bar is missing. So to fix it, it's very simple. Just click on this toggle right here and boom, the bottom bar shows up here and always stay fixed at the bottom of the screen. All right, so let's go back to the main Figma view. So the next thing I want to do is to integrate the 3D into this placeholder layer that I have here. But in order to integrate the 3D, we need to create the 3D. So we're going to use Splite to build a very simple 3D scene. So let's jump to Splite. All right, so here we are in Splice, so let's click here to create a new file. So we have a new file here, so let's remove this default rectangle. And then we're going to drag this 3D model shoes in GLB format into the scene. So now you see that the shoe shows up here uh, really nicely. So for those of you who are new to Spli, might be wondering where to get the 3D model. So very simple, all you have to do is go to this getfab.com website. And here you can search for a lot of 3D model that you can use. So for example, I'm searching for the Air Jordan and there's a lot of result comes up here. So whatever have this little download icon in the top right corner is free. So all you have to do is click and uh, go to the description and there's a link here you can download the file so make sure to download the glb format so for this one we have um, a lot of options here so you can select the lightest one for best performance but for me i like this one a little bit more so i spend five dollar to purchase this pretty models all right so let's go back to supply and the next step we're going to make this scene looks a little bit better so let's click on this empty area here and go to the scene setting and change the background to white and you can click here to switch to the top view mode and create a rectangle to uh, make a platform. So let's scale it up bigger and move it to the centers and move it right down below the shoes. So now you can see the shadow is visible. So let's change the color of the platform into white. And you can select the directional light and move it around to see what works better. So let's move it to this direction so we can see the shadows. And you can increase the blurriness of the shadow as well. Alright, so next thing, let's go to material and turn on the lighting channels. And let's create another channel for the materials. And for this one, I'm going to select matte cap. So basically, it will give this 3 model a, a little bit of reflection. Uh, so you can click here to switch to a different deflections. Maybe this one works better. All right, so now let's switch the blending mode to overlays. And now you can see that the shoe is looking a little bit brighter and shinier. All right, so now you can click on this play button to preview. So it's looking pretty good. All right, so let's go back here. And next thing, let's export this scene so we can integrate it into the Figma prototype. Uh, so the first thing, let's disable the logos and let's go to the play setting tab. And down here, let's turn off the pan, zoom, and shop orbit option. And for the touch settings, uh, let's go one finger for orbiting and we don't need panning, so let's disable this. 
and down here let's turn on this orbit limit and set the bottom to zeros uh, up 45 left 180 and also at 184 right uh, so let's preview it so now you can move around horizontally uh, but when you move it vertically it's um, kind of limit to a certain angle so you don't see the bottom of the shoe that much all right so now we are all set let's go back and uh, click this update public url button to make sure all of these settings are updated so once it's done it will show you this notification pops up here and you can go back to the overview tab and copy this embed link here so just click on this button and it will automatically copy to your clipboard so now let's go back to our figma prototype and with this layer selected i'm going to go to the animals plugin and down here there's an option called embed code so let's click here and all you have to do is to paste the link that you just copy into this uh, box right here and save so now you can click on the preview button to see how it works all right so you can see that the pretty is being loaded to our prototype here uh, but it's a little bit too big so it's very simple just go back to spline and adjust the camera uh, so let's zoom out a little bit and maybe change the uh, default angle to uh, this angle uh, so it's look a little bit better and the other thing i want to do is you go to uh, play setting and turn on this uh, turntable animations uh, so that the shoe will always rotate in a very moderated speed so let's reduce the speed by uh, 0.2 so let's hit preview so yeah it's working much better now so Maybe um, I prefer it to rotate the other way. So let's just select left instead and make sure to update the public URL. All right, so let's get back to Figma and preview the prototype. All right, so it's looking much better now and it's working pretty smoothly on uh, this preview mode. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the 3D. So the next thing I want to do is to add some more uh, uh, flavor to the whole prototype by uh, adding some animation to these elements down here. Alright, so let's select this group right here and go to this list and select entrance animations. And from here, there's a list of different animation that you can choose. But for this one, I'm going to select move up. And from here, you can click on this trigger button to uh, preview the animations. Uh, so let's adjust the duration and turn on this toggle to make sure this always start the animation when it's enter the screen. So let's hit save and click here to preview. Uh, so there you go. We have this very nice entrance animation for the title. So you can apply this, exactly the same process for the rest of the UI and you know try with different type of animations like uh, expand, like scaling or moving. It's a lot of things you could do. So this is how the end result look like. So you can see that adding animation makes it so much more dynamic and cooler. Uh, so whatever you've done, you can click on the publish buttons uh, down here, but I already published it. So I have a sync button instead. So let's click here and select um, a framework to uh, uh, be published with. So let's wait for a few seconds and then click on this button and it will take you to the public URL so you can share around. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks like in the public uh, URL. So uh, finally, you can click on this share button here to uh, copy the link and view it on your phone or share around to your friends or your coworkers or your clients, whoever you want. So yeah, this is the end of my tutorial today. So I hope you find this one helpful and I will see you in the next one. All right.